what's your vision for the future? What, what do you see happening with addiction treatment, with drug use, with harm reduction? Um, what do I see or what do I want to see? You can give me both. Okay. Um, so I would like to see I would like to see this gradualist vision, which you know, again, I crystallize it by way it's it's it started even back in Liverpool where people talking about making gradual change in the early days of harm reduction. So it's always been there. I would like people to use that kind of language to begin to see themselves that way. What I think does not work is you have people in a harm reduction setting with harm reduction values, this whole incredible culture of nurturing and connection and affirmation. And then and then we then the harm reduction people for that matter, we they send them to mainstream treatment, which is getting better certainly, but still punitive, patriarchal, harsh, you know. And the, 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 never, it's not very good to transfer patients anyway, but that's not a good cultural shift. So I think what we need is in the harm reduction movement itself to begin to have spaces of people who want to seriously moderate or seriously stop using. I know on, um, um, what's the website? Um, um, moderation Management. My understanding is there's actually a chat room now for people who want to stop drinking. And this evolved out of the needs of the people in that group. That's instead of A, we'll just stay in smart, as I will say in, in moderation management, we'll, we'll just have our group where we stop drinking. They don't want to leave, which I think was a beautiful model for us. So I think the harm reduction really needs to develop their own places, their own rooms, spaces where people can say, you know, I've gone through this stuff and now I want to, I want to stop or I want to try stopping or seriously moderate or seriously, you know, have a different relationship with the substance. So I think that would be a very, very good idea. Um, you know, I'd like to see harm reduction psychotherapy spread throughout the world, you know, in its various versions. I think we need much more complicated ideas, much more complex ideas about how people are with addiction and how they get better. I mean, our treatment system is failing, and that's one of the reasons why I wrote that paper, is that nobody wants to say it. We've, we're wasting millions, if not billions of dollars on failed treatments. We're not serving um, our patients. In fact, we're not even seeing this paper, seeing them off as prisoners or something else. And we need to see change with that, and I think it's an exciting time because you know, there's so much going on with medicine, there's so much going on with clinical psychology, the grassroots, I mean, recovery itself, interesting things going on there, your own work, um, work of all these other groups. It's a very exciting time with this whole thing, as well as dreadful time because addiction is spreading throughout the planet. So we're in this difficult, wonderful, strange time. But I'd like to see you know, more mental health, more psychological models, many of the things I've been talking about so far, all these things in play. Um, and maybe less warring between the camps, you know, maybe we kind of get along better and respect each other, you know, and, and there's room for, for traditional 12 step, and there's probably, I'm a huge fan, of probably room for traditional TC for some people, who find that, you know, that authoritarian superego thing to be helpful to them, as well as, uh, you know, real psychotherapy. We also need to train more people, because I think, the addiction people have kind of kept the mental people, health people at bay. So we need training that. And, I, and my ideal is that everybody who works in addiction will have both a addiction credential and a psychotherapy mental health credential. So I don't know if that gives you, you know, obviously war of drugs needs to stop and that, that kind of stuff. That's a little beyond the issue of treatment. But.